Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to do something different. Obviously this is DOSBox and if you've already paused it and looked, you might already know what this is. I'm sorry if this is really loud. <laughs> but let's get some story. Sounds pretty bad. <laughs> So, obviously Windows 7 really hates DOSBox, though it's been like that for a while now. Windows just hating anything that is remotely old. Uh, sorry if you saw the frame right there. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually trying to use fraps with DOSBox. But this is a sequel to the original King's Quest, which I wanted to do originally, but apparently I can't find the original game. Like, I, I have the VGA remake, and I can find the fan-made remake, but I cannot find the original. Not, not Like, not to save my life. It's just so stupid. And so, our brave King Graham bravely sets off to Kalama. And this is where the game starts. And for some reason, um, DOS, it's not, doesn't run very fast, so you press ESC. I think you put it on fast? Yes, this will be good enough. And I need to stop because, um, you can move with the numpad. You just have to press the num lock a few times until it registers. And this is an adventure game. So, look. The glittering white sand of the beach feels warm from the sun, and the azure water of the ocean laps up to its edge. Alrighty then. But yeah, I was going to do the original one, but I can't seem to find it. Uh, a lot of sites will be like, oh hey, you can download it here, and then they'll tell me everything about the game, and then not actually have a link. Which is a good way to get a hit <laughs> on your site. Um, you can never get past those rocks, but King's Quest is a series that pretty much defines my childhood. Uh, I played through 1 to 6, though I'm a bit hazy on 4 and 6. What's this? Hold on. Look. There is a stake leaning against the tree. Well, let's get the stake and then start moving towards it. Um, one thing that this uh, series is notorious for is extremely cheap deaths. And so, um, one thing to um, keep to be safe in this game is to always hug the edges of the screen if you're in a forest. Because um, there are three dangers. Hold on, I'm just going to pause this for a second. Uh, the three dangers are there's a witch called Hagatha who will just grab you and kill you. There's a dwarf thief. Um, he'll take your stuff. You can get it back. You just have to know where his uh, uh, house is. And there's also an enchanter who will turn you into a frog or something like that. I don't see the enchanter too often. But anyways, look again. You know it's a pretty clam shell. Get clam. When you pick it up, you see there's a sparkling sapphire and diamond bracelet under. Oh, let's get that too. Bracelet. There's a lot of jewelry around here. I think it helps for the ending, or it's just part of points or something like that. Anyways, this is how I usually play this game. And it's... If you can type with one hand, you could, you're already pretty good with it. Oh, ha ha ha. Because, you know, you're typing with one hand, you know, for other reasons. Whatever. Get this trident. It is obviously a trident and nothing else. Well, it's down. Let's, uh, let's go back up. Alright, um... Hmm. I think we'll go back north. Uh, I could go south, but, um, it's... That's where Hagatha's cave is, and... Yeah. Um, you do have to go into a couple of 
evil people's lairs, but I don't have to go to Hagathas yet. And it's also very dangerous. And another thing you're probably going to see me doing is this, which is saving a lot. Because, like I said, they can really screw you. Hold on, I have to see. We'll just save and see. I already have some here, Ark. But we'll save here, and we'll call this Tug. Alright. So now we got our save file going. I think we go east from here. Um, you might notice a few graphical errors. Um, it was not like that in the original. I used to play this and 1 to 3... Oh, I guess I can go north. Well, yeah, 1 to 3 on my old IBM Tandy 1000X, or EX. I think that's what it was. Let's look here. What a lovely lake. Sparkling one looks so clean and fresh. Okay. One thing that's uh, cruel about this game is if you go in water, you won't automatically swim. There is a. They did add a command now. Yeah, equal. If you press equal, you'll uh, do stuff. Hey, let's look at our inventory. Let's see an object here. Let's look at this trident. The trident is rusty and corroded. It looks somewhat like a pitchfork. Somewhat. Except, you know, I would sooner go into battle with a trident than a pitchfork, if you don't mind me saying. Um, apparently, this is something I can't walk past. <laughs> Alright, this is where we started. If we go east here, this screen's safe, if I remember correctly. But one thing that King's Quest also likes to do is uh, put a lot of other fairy tales into it. Oh, well, look, a house. A little open mailbox because we are thieves. Oh, a basket of goodies. Basket. Uh, duh, get basket. Um, fans have remade uh, King's Quest 1 to 4. They're pretty good from what I remember. Oh, look. It appears we've run into a little red riding hood. Well, here's our first fairy tale. And we got a basket of goodies, and more than likely she needs it, so give basket to girl. Graceful, gratefully, little red riding hood accepts a basket of goodies and in turn gives you her bouquet of flowers. And then she goes off being all happy as a clam. And that's her grandma's house. And apparently she lost the basket if you talk to her. Um, even though it's in the mailbox, and technically that would have mean that she delivered it. <laughs> She's not very bright. Anyways, we can't deal with the grandma yet. So, hmm. What to do? But yes, always hug the edges, because if someone comes, you can quickly exit a screen and get them away from you. There's a church. Um, I'm trying to find... Ugh. Sorry, the bell always freaked me out. <laughs> Ugh. Let's go north. It's hard to see yet. Okay, here's the dwarf's house. And uh, this obviously requires a save. And we'll open door. Oh, here is the dwarf. And he, he was about to attack us, but we were going to steal from him instead. Now, this is why I'm saving, because you can walk down this ladder and fuck up and die. <laughs> you always land on your neck, usually from a fall, but you can survive some small ones. Let's see if he's home. He's not. Get soup! Ouch, the fire is hot. Got it. Open chest. Hopefully he won't barge into us. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Get. Look in chest. I notice earrings. Get earrings. Sorry, whenever I'm in an evil person's place, I kind of have a tendency to freak out and screw up. You have to be really quick, because uh, while you're typing, it's, the game's like running and all that stuff, so let's save again. Because I am do done with the door's place. And I'm done with that ladder, so I probably won't die from that anymore. <laughs> Uh, I saved. So we had to get those earrings, but mainly we had to get the suit. This is uh, a bad screen here. Um, Hagatha can appear here, I believe. They usually appear, have a... Yeah, here's her cave. Look. 
foreboding cave from where Hagath and the weak wicked old hag. There is a human skulls and stakes. This is not a reassuring sign. There's also an Easter egg if you come here sometimes. Um, she co she drives out in the Batmobile. <laughs> but um, yeah, driving on the Batmobile. That's kind of funny, but whatever. Let me check my time. Um, now we have to take the soup to the Red Riding Hood's, uh, Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother, but I think I'm going to end the video right there, so when you join me next time, we'll hand in the soup, I think. I don't know. Depends.